All right, we saw all of that uh, ceremony today. We'll get question time back tomorrow, obviously, and Thursday. Tomorrow also we'll get that updated inflation data. And Tuesday, Thursday morning, that's when we'll have all eyes on the Treasurer as he delivers his economic update. Joining me now from the ground in Canberra to go through all of this and more, Sky News political editor, Andrew Clennell. Andrew, welcome. Great to have you on the show. You've been uh, off getting fired up to uh, sit with us now in the return of Parliament. This legislation, this 43% emissions target bill by 2030, it's there, ready to go. Uh, the coalition, with some exceptions, of course, are going to knock it back. It's inconsistent with what they took to the election. So Labor look like they're prepared to give a bit of ground to the Greens. They want the target as high as 75%. They want this ban on new coal and gas projects. Is there any sense that Labor will roll over or will it be the Greens that roll out over in the upper house? Well, I'm actually sitting here wondering if you're a Collingwood or an Essendon fan, Peter. Just uh, perhaps I'm Richmond, mate. I'm Richmond. I was just uh, sharing oh, the love. <laughs> a great game, great game though, wasn't it? Great game. Anyway, I um, I believe from the information I've got the last couple of days, the Greens will roll over if you, if you want to call it that. I think that they'll get some concessions, like the one you mentioned they got today from Chris Bowen in terms of the target being a floor, not a ceiling. They won't get a coal and gas moratorium. They won't get 75 per cent. But I think that they will back the bill because after negotiating as hard as they can. Uh, there's no guarantees there for Anthony Albanese. But I think what this means is in the short term at least, and you would argue very differently in the long term and medium term, but in the short term this mm -hmm. will be more of a political problem for Peter Dutton than Anthony Albanese. Why? Because I'm aware that there are four or five Liberal MPs after some calls I made before coming on with you who are said to be considering crossing the floor. It's not just Bridget Archer and Andrew Bragg. Now, it'll be kicked off... It'll be introduced into the House tomorrow. It'll be kicked off to a Senate inquiry and it'll be reported for two months, this division in the Liberal ranks. Now, as you know, Peter, the target is in place. They don't need this law, as you well know, having dealt as a Chief of Staff with this sort mm -hmm. of policy. They do not need this law. So a cynic, and, you know, I'm a bit of one would suggest this is perhaps a wedge on the libs, if anything, that Albanese is attempting here. The government says it's giving the renewable indus industry uh, certainty and they want it. That may be the case, but it also happens to act as a potential political wedge and a political football and cause some issues for Peter Dutton internally. 